Let's get into the box here. <laughs> Mystery Mike doesn't know what this is. I think it's a ship. This thing is so big it just floated up to Susquehanna. It came from FedEx. And Mystery Jessica had to sign for it. And I ordered this a month ago, I think. Bob No Drums from the 60s. Jesus, we 
or so with the uh, bolt action rifles that everybody else was using. And they even saw some service in Korea and maybe even Vietnam a little bit before it was replaced by the M14. Farmer Ant here really knows his guns. He does a lot of studying and a lot of research.
plus of doing, of buying one through the, the civilian marksmanship program, is it is pretty much half the price. I'm not 100% sure, but if you wanted to buy one of these at a gun store or anywhere in this kind of condition, they could be around 1500 to two grand maybe. So you really do get a good deal, and they have some other options of rifles that you can choose from. So I'm really anxious to fire it. I'll have to get some 30 odd six, but it, you have to know that you can't put regular 30 odd six through these because at the time they were made, 30 odd six was less powerful than it is now with modern powder. So you either have to reload your own ammo for this gun specifically at a lower powder. So remember that because that's very important. It'll damn it. It will actually damage the uh, the gas system, I believe, if you put regular factory ammunition. Um, but I did just see a video of a guy who changed the gas plug, and he claims that it will run fine on modern ammo. So that's something I'm going to look into because it would be a shame to not be able to fire this. So, she's a beauty. Once again, congratulations. That's a very nice firearm here. Thank you. You're welcome. It's got some weight to it. Yeah. It's it, for 30 it, it, that's nice. That's really, really nice. So this is my first military surplus rifle, really. And I think they used to sell these at Sunny Surplus. I was just going to say, remember years and years ago, probably, I don't know, I'm going to say 40 years ago, you could walk into a Sunny Surplus and see quite a bit of surplus rifles, but you don't see that anymore. Another thing that the M1 Garand was very known for, and I might say like that, is uh, the clip. So it's a metal clip. And when it would eject after you made your last shot out of the clip, it would make a very distinct pinging sound. And if you stay to the end of the video, we'll demonstrate that. And the story has it that in the war, the enemy, like the Germans, would know that the Americans were out of ammo when they heard that ping. So the Germans would jump up because they knew the Americans had to reload. And then that's when they would start firing at them so the americans realized that and then they would take these and hit them on their helmet to make that ping and so when the germans would pop up the americans would shoot the germans because you can hear it a little bit there yeah, it's it's real like a, a metal tingy sound yeah um i just want to mention my one uncle he's been passed away for quite some time now god rest his soul I remember him telling my father's stories and then my father would tell me when he was in World War II fighting over Germany. He he told a story that when they were battling the Germans at one time they had a high down in the, I guess they were in the, in the, I take it as if they were in the like, kind of like a woods plot and they had a high down in the brush went by, he said he could have just took his hand and touched them. And I often think about that. Can you imagine? That's terrifying. Can you imagine 
I want to thank you, Anthony, for sharing all of your knowledge with us. That's very nice. And I'd like to give a shout out to Anthony's YouTube channel called Farmer Ant. Look him up. I believe you will really like it. I do some agricultural videos. There will be a link in the description. And I just want to say, every time you put a gun in your hands, always make sure it's unloaded and treat all guns as if they are loaded. Make sure they're always on safety. It's also important to note that in today's day and age, if you are a firearms enthusiast and you care about our Second Amendment right to join the organizations, join the NRA, join the GLA, I'm wearing an NRA shirt, um, they may not be the best, but they're at least doing something. So keep that in mind. I guess that's a, I guess that's about it. Once again, thank you for all your knowledge and sharing it with all of us, Anthony. I really enjoyed that, and I hope you all out there enjoyed that. And I just want to say thank you all for subscribing and watching. And just remember, be someone important. Be yourself. To next time. Here.